my crib. This is my carpet and my carpet bag. I'm trying to escape. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Donnie's room. Whoa, overexposed. There we go. Uh, today, I'm finally, he's almost a year old, and I'm finally doing his nursery tour. Uh, even though I don't feel like it's 100% complete. Is it ever really? It's mostly, it's like 99% complete. There's just one element I'm not sure about. Do you want to give us a tour? You want to go play somewhere else? Okay. So anyway, this is the door to Donnie's room. It's right next to Stacy's room. I have a laundry basket between them because I do a load of kids' laundry every night. It's just with a baby. Can you tell we're getting close to nap time? With a baby, it's just to keep the stains at bay. I find it best to do the laundry frequently. Hi, you got my legs? I think somebody's getting a little tired. And then that, um, what do they call that? It's, like a, it's something you lie in front of the door like this, the crease under the door crease scene, whatever, the open place. Because during Donnie's afternoon nap, there's a lot, there's like a bright light that shines really brightly on our floor and for whatever reason, it just like projects right into his crib. So I just have that to keep, uh, to keep him, um, you know, from having sun in his face. Anyway, the gate's closed to the stairs. He's got free reign of the upstairs. It's all baby poof, so you guys don't have to worry about that. And I'm gonna take you into Donnie's room. This is Donnie's nursery. It, well, it's his room too, but it's like in nursery mode right now. Oh, he's going to come with us. Okay, great. So, I'll give you a 360 view first of the room, and then I'll go through each element. I'll open all the drawers. I wish I didn't have to turn the light on today, because then you could see the paint. Hi! You could see the paint color better. I'm um, sorry, my vacuum's outside. I did vacuum for this video, full disclaimer. <laughs> I did, I vacuumed. Um, but yeah, maybe, here, it might be bright enough now. Let me turn the light off so you guys can see the paint. What do you think, baby? It's this beautiful blue. I cannot for the life of me remember the name of it. I nobody, somebody's gonna ask. It's a Sherwin-Williams color. If I can find it, I will write it somewhere for you guys. Otherwise, I'm sorry, I don't remember. I'm sure I have the can in the basement. I can go look. Yeah, you're getting tired. I know. We'll do this. We'll do this right quick. Okay. So, first off, we replaced the kids' fans with new overhead fixtures. We honestly, I know people love having ceiling fans, especially in kids' rooms with babies. I've used them like a handful of times with them. We have really good um, air system in the house. The the air and the heat, the furnace, whatever, the HVAC system fan goes off frequently. Uh, or goes on, I should say. So there's always air circulating. We never feel like we really needed it. And they just, they were really low and my husband's six feet and he would bump into them. And I don't know, this just has more light. Um, really nice, really nice amount of light. I think I'll keep the light off though because it's a little bit better. It might be a little dark. Most of the furniture is from Restoration Hardware. Their baby line, RH Baby and Child, which is beautiful. Beautiful stuff, and I absolutely love it. I will, if they still have the pieces, I believe it's the Jameson collection, which they have in a variety of woods. Um, I'll link them below. I really like this gray-ish wood with our darker floors. The area rug is, <laughs> do you have feelings? <laughs> the area rug is also from RH Baby and Child, and I just, it's so soft. I just love it. Um, and we, obviously we bought all this stuff a year ago when I furnished his room. We did recycle the Ubi, or is it Ubi, Ubi, um, diaper pail from Cece's diapering days, so that has been great, and I bought it in gray for her room, it works well in his too, and I went ahead and purchased the same little custom night light from an Etsy shop, I think it's Lightning Bugs, I'll link them below, with his initials on it, just like hers. Um, I really, really, really love how the room came together. This is the one element, sorry, you can see my little <laughs> um, back on the floor there. This is the one element I'm not sure is gonna stay in here. This is not something I bought specifically for this room. It's also from RH Baby and Child. It's a piece I bought for another part of the house that I didn't like there, and I put it here for now. The artwork I definitely will keep in here. Do I need to pick you up? Can you hang in there? What if you play for a minute? We've got some of his toys over here. You want to play? Here, let's see. Can you play for a minute? Yeah. 
let's see if we can play for a cute couple minutes. Anyway, um, artwork also from RH Baby and Child is probably the first things I bought for this room. If we decide to keep that unit in here, I will secure it to the wall um, for safety, but um, I'm honestly only about 10% sure it's going to stay there. I might do some other kind of low toy storage or just a different bookshelf or maybe just a play area. I don't know. I'm not committed to that right now. Uh, but the crib, same collection. I just love it. We have it in its second, it's like in the middle. It's not as low as it goes, but it's not as high as it goes. Um, and that's working for us right now. Um, bedding is also, the sheets are also RH Baby and Child, which I had for CC2. They're wonderful quality, and I just love the little stars with the pale blue. Um, and actually, this toy bin can't remember if this is from RH Baby and Child or Pottery Barn Kids, but it also has the little blue stars. And I have a bit of a star theme. I guess if there's any theme at all, that's what it would be. I found this felted uh, mobile on Etsy, which I absolutely adore, and I think it just looks beautiful. I had originally bought a piece of artwork to go over the crib, which is now sadly in the closet because I don't know what to do with it. I can't return it. But we decided to go with the Nanit. Um, baby monitor system and it just didn't look right to hang the piece of artwork over it and I couldn't hang it like through it or under it. Um, so I think the mobile kind of helps fill the space without, um, you know, interfering with that. Do love the Nanit. It's awesome. Um, everything that I can link for you guys that is still available, I will link below, of course. Again, another recycling from Cece's Nursery is this, um, I think it's Dutalier is the brand. Um, uh, rocker glider nursing chair. It's the best. I love it. I've used it to nurse both my babies and it has been great. Um, we have a couple of blankets on there. One's from Pottery Barn Kids and it has the little gold foil stars on it and this was a gift from a friend with his initials on it. It's just beautiful. The side table, also RH Baby and Child. I used to have a lot more burping cloths in there but I basically never use them anymore. I just have a few in there just in case. And I still use the boppy for a little extra support under his head, but I don't keep it like under me when I nurse. I just use it kind of as a pillow, really. I found this little lamp at Target, which I thought was a great find. And this is so cute because it can double as a nightlight if you want it to. Where is the... Why can't I do this? Um, so you can see the stars project a little bit around them. Or you can go into lamp mode or you can have both on. I think it's a great thing. We love our white noise machines. I get comments on those all the time. This is the one we like. Dome. We have them in both kids' rooms. And the humidifier is a crane drop humidifier. And I only keep those in here um, in the winter months. I just find they help with... Um, just keeping their like passage, their nasal passageways healthy, and in this very get very dry out here in the Midwest. Even with built-in humidifier system in our HVAC system, we still need a little extra boost for the kids. So I just keep them in here for this time of year. But generally, any other time of year, that would be clear. Nothing would be on that. These shelves also RH Baby and Child, and here are our nighttime books selections at the moment. I just love how these shelves look. They're a good depth. They're like, I don't know, four inches. Um, but they have that kind of floating look. And I just think they make a nice statement on the wall. I didn't like go crazy with a lot of stuff on his walls aside from those two pieces of artwork on the other wall. Um, the curtain rod and curtains were actually pre-existing here from this used to be a guest room. Uh, so I didn't change that out because it works just fine. I think they were probably from Pottery Barn years and years ago. And then up here, we have another couple of floating shelves, again from RH Baby and Child, with some of our little um, things on them. <laughs> uh, print from, what is that brand called? Oh, Cuddle, Cuddle and Kind. And then also um, something a family member made for us, a beautiful um, birth announcement kind of thing. A book, a subscriber sent us actually, which I really love, and some booties that one of my viewers um, knitted for us. For him. My mom gave us this, which is so super sweet. And then this is a frame that was a gift from a friend with one of Donnie's newborn photo shoot photos in it. Now we did hang these pretty high. I guess we could have hung them a little bit lower, but I was a little bit paranoid about him bumping his head in them. He's like two feet tall, so I don't think that's gonna be a problem for a while, but that's what I did. Are you yawning, honey? Mommy um, gets a couple more minutes to <laughs> 
Okay, let me pick him. Well, I'm not gonna be able to. How am I gonna do the doors if I pick you up? <laughs> How? Let me finish up. Okay, and then over here, this huge mirror, is also from RH. Hmm, is it from RH Baby and Child? I don't remember now. But I just love it. Like I said, I didn't go with a lot of stuff on the walls. Just picked some shelves and some kind of statement pieces. And this mirror, I'm obsessed with. It is enormous. We have it really well secured to the wall because I'm a little bit paranoid about it over the, um, you know, changing area. Same changing pad from when Charlotte was an infant. I just recycled it. It worked out that she went to potty, she potty trained right when he was born. So I was able to use like the diaper pail and the changing pad. I really like these um, changing bag covers from Burt's Bees. They're my favorite. Um, this is just something I recently popped up here to keep Donnie entertained on the changing table. It's one of those little soother soundy things. And, um, it does help because otherwise he wants to project himself, propel himself onto the floor, which we don't want him to do. Here's our little cuddle and kind lamb friend. Okay, all right. Somebody wanted to be part of the door. So we're going to continue on with the Donnie edition. I'll try my best. I don't know how I'm going to open the drawers with no hands. I probably have to turn the camera off and then open the drawers. Um, I got this little star night light, which honestly I don't use. I bought it to be a secondary light, like for middle of the night changings and things. I don't use it that much, but it's really, really cute. Can't remember where that was from now. It doesn't say. It's either RH Baby and Child or Pottery Barn Kids. And then I just have a little um, basket with tissues and hand sanitizer. Some things to entertain the baby with. All right, as promised, I'll go through the drawers with you right quick. Um, I kind of have them laid out the same way I did when Charlotte was an infant in her room. It's just the where I stand to change him. I usually stand in front of this middle drawer. Just works that I can have that drawer or the diaper drawer open. Sorry about my finger there. Um, when I am changing him, if I want to get, you know, some ointment or some lotion, some boogie wipes. Boogie wipes are the best, by the way. I have all of like kind of like nose clearing stuff here. If you are pregnant or have a baby, do not live without the nose Frida, the nose sucker thing. Critically important. Also, I like having a nasal saline nasal spray. Um, I have all of his little baby uh, medications back there in the event that he ever needs them, which he rarely, rarely does, like Tylenol and Motrin um, for teething. His brush, his baby scissors, clippers, nail file, um, extra trash bags for the Ubi. The great thing about the Ubi trash bags is they're biodegradable, and we use honest diapers, which are also biodegradable. Um, so works well. I keep all of his diapers here. Well, the ones that, you know, we currently have open his wipes. I get the honest company diaper bundle, which is great. I still use the um, same homemade um, recipe diaper cream that I used for Charlotte. I think I made a blog post about that sometime. I, you know, works great for, for us. And then all of his clothes are a little bit messy. <laughs> Sorry. All of his clothes are in the neck shells down. Hmm, I did not pre-tidy these, obviously. We got his sweaters and sweatshirts, his body suits, so mostly long sleeve because it's winter, a couple short sleeve white ones in the back, and then pants right there. And then in this next drawer over, I have all of his um, sleepers. We like Hannah. These are all um, kind of one-piece outfits, um, but honestly, most of them are overalls that he probably doesn't fit in anymore, and I just don't want to get rid of them. And then we do use the overnight um, Honest Company diapers for him, because uh, I don't change them in the night anymore, and they work really, really well. I never use those with Charlotte, but they're great. And then in the bottom drawer, I rarely go into this drawer. This is all blankets. Um, yeah, mainly swaddle. Oh, God, watch those fingers, baby. Blankets, extra changing pad covers. These were great when he, and both he and Charlotte, these were things from Charlotte's um, infancy as well. They're little kind of like waterproof covers you can put on if you're dealing with a newborn. It's kind of nice because things can get messy and that kind of saves you a lot of extra laundry. And then I have backup diapers and backup wipes in this drawer and even more in the closet. Because we do get a bundle, I get a large shipment all at once. So I always have, you know, three or four extra packs not always, but for for part of the month, I would say. And that's what's in all of his drawers. He's cooperating for the moment, so maybe I can show you the closet. Are you gonna stand up? He's like, I'm thinking about it. He's been working on his downward dogs. This little guy, 
I think he was from R.H. Baby and Child, too. That are Pottery Barn Kids. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't remember, but he's this little dragon. Um, Cece has a unicorn rocker in her room. I felt like we needed one in his room. <laughs> yes, I did. I can pick you up now. Hold on. Okay, we got baby and arm. Oh, I feel like I've been talking so fast as I'm trying to do this before he loses it when his nap is. Um, this is nap time is in like two minutes. So, this is the last area of the room. It's his closet. Really don't have a ton in here right now. A couple of non donny things like our guitars we never play. But maybe we'll someday. Um, and some artwork and things. That's the toddler kit uh, for his crib. And a mirror I actually want to hang in Charlotte's room on the back of her door. Um, that's a bin of bigger size clothing that he's not wearing yet. Cece's drapes from her room when it was her nursery that I'm saving because I think they're really pretty and she might like them when she grows out of her little girl room. So I'm just going to save them. I had them dry clean and saving them for now. But you see I have nothing hanging for Donnie because I don't know what to hang for him at this point. Like, the, I know a lot of people like to hang up their baby clothes. I prefer to keep them all right at um, finger, you know, like reaching access when I'm standing at the changing table. So. That's all there is in there. There's little infant scales on the floor in the middle because for both my babies, I've weighed them weekly. For Charlotte, I bought that scale because I needed to make sure she was gaining weight because we had so many issues with breastfeeding for the first four months. But then I just continued doing it weekly for fun. And so I weighed her up through uh, a year old, 52 weeks, and I'm doing the same for him. I just keep it there because that's where I weigh him. And Makes sense, but I'll put that away when all is said and done. These two bins, this one has any surplus diapers I have, and this one has his clean bedding in it. Um, those are swim diapers up there, left over from Charlotte's infancy in various sizes. I think I mentioned at some point that I shopped the freshly picked Friends and Family sale last year, so last November I think it was. And I bought him baby moccasins from newborn through size three because they were on such good sale. Um, so that's what I've got there. I've got kind of memorabilia one bit up there. Um, that's sort of just like administrative stuff for his room, like all the instruction manuals and extra pieces, the boppy um, case. And that's actually my American Girl doll from when I was a little girl, my Samantha doll up there for when the time comes for playing with Cece if she wants to be into that stuff, or Donnie, you know, whatever. Well, you know, whatever. Anyway, that, my friends, is everything. Oh, I didn't show you, Winnie has a bed in here too, of course. Winnie has a bed in all of our rooms. And she actually is in here quite often with me, um, with him. I still nurse him twice a day, so she's usually in her bed with, uh, with us whenever I'm in here with Donnie. That's his room. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just love it. It's just such a peaceful, calm um, place. It's really dark now because I was in the bright closet. Let me flip you around. There we go. Say hi. It's just such a peaceful, calm place. And um, I know one that will grow with him and change with him. And, and I'm just uh, I'm happy to share it with you. Uh, so I will be showing you Charlotte's little girl room in a couple of weeks probably. There's just a few things I want to finish up in there before we do that big reveal. Um, we're a little tired. I'm going to put this one down for his nap. But we hope you guys enjoyed seeing Donnie's nursery. We enjoyed sharing it with you, didn't we? Yes. Yes, we did. And um, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.